So today we're just going to repeat the process exactly the same as what we did yesterday. Um, we took him out this morning. Very uh, excitable this morning. That's the only way I can put it. Um, he did get excited. He did whinge. He did whine. Uh, not for long. Only for a couple of minutes, which is brilliant. So that that was a great um, progress. But obviously, you know, we need to kind of make sure that he doesn't do this on a permanent basis. So I want to use two things today. One is go back to a head harness, uh, which he's been using, but he's had the flat head harness. So I'm going to introduce figure of eight again. Um, that gives me access to control his lead walking, so he doesn't get too excited. His owners really struggle to walk him. He's a, assuming he's only a small dog, he has got some strength behind him that he does pull. So each and every time that he goes ahead of the lead, all I'm asking him to do is stop and turn with me. By using the head harness, I can stop the lead from getting too tight. If he gets to the end of the lead and he continues to pull, all that does is increase his anxiety because it starts to tighten up on his neck. And it's exactly the same with, with the lead and collar. So anyone who says lead and collar doesn't do that. It does, it just pulls on their neck. So I want to reduce that amount of pulling on his neck because it's dangerous to him. It's not very good for him. So I've used figure of eight. There are different head harnesses on the market, but I do like the figure of eight. So long as it doesn't cause a problem on his nose. If it causes a problem on his nose, then I'll go for the flat figure of eight. See, what can happen sometimes also with behaviourist trainers, we're stuck on getting a dog to our heel and walking them by the heel. I'm not bothered whether he walks to my heel or not. To be honest, all I want him to do is stop pulling stop getting himself into an excitement step. Me to the side of me, so long as he does not pull me and I can keep this lead loose, I'm not bothered. So long as he responds every time that I turn and I get him to walk with me, then that's fine. That's all I'm asking him to do. I'm not asking him to stay by my heel, I'm not looking for a dog that is a robot dog standing by my heel, walking by my heel right now, because I've got to start back at the foundation and just get him to relax. That's the foundation. 